Jay Peters here from StampinBJ.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator who loves to share things with you. And I've got some great tips today using the new pressed petals washi tape. You are going to be amazed at this washi tape. Let's get started. Here's a close-up of this card. Love, love, love these, this gorgeous flower. And it's a perfect match with the Tool of Wild Rose bundle. Let's get started. Let me show you some tips and tricks on how to make this card. I mentioned that I'd be using the Tool of Wild Rose bundle. So this comes with framelits because you want to purchase as a bundle. It is actually one of my favorite sets in the new annual catalog. The next key ingredient is the Press Petals Specialty Washi Tape. This tape, I'm going to use this one more, has about 100 petals and they're, they're, they're washi, so they're kind of sticky on the back side. Perfect for making some gorgeous flowers. I'm also going to be using the Press Petals Specialty Designer Series paper, specifically this one. I kind of wanted a vintage look that would allow the flower just to pop off the card, and this specialty paper is perfect. So let's get started on making a flower. I've punched out a three quarter inch very vanilla circle and you're going to need six petals. I'm just going to use my silicone mat here because I think it'll be easy for you to see and the petals don't stick as well to that. So first off I started by placing two petals opposite each other. And then just kind of adding in the other petals, overlapping just a bit. Petals kind of naturally kind of tend to curl up on their own, so it gives it that 3D effect. So I wanted to make sure that I preserved that 3D effect. So what I did was I took my embossing buddy and I just tapped it on the back side of the washi tape so that it is less sticky. I love these perennial essence, essence floral centers. Love the little texture on them. So it's perfect. So I want to put that right there in the middle. What these come with just an adhesive back to them that you can peel off and place it right where you want it. And there's my flower. So cool. So let's create the base for our flower. So here's that pressed petals specialty designer series paper. So it's a little thinner than our normal paper, but I love the, the burlap background. And this is three and a half by four and three fourths, and I'm layering it on Mary Merlot, which is one of the colors in the pressed petals. One of the dyes in the coordinating wild rose dyes is this gorgeous kind of flowery lattice type piece that I've cut out in Very Vanilla and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to it. I love how this kind of just provides a background and provides just some support or um, kind of some anchoring for the flower. I'm just using some Tombow multi-purpose adhesive and just adding just little bits of it and I'm just going to drop it right on here. And I always like to turn it over and just kind of give it a good press for a great adhesion. And there we go. So I'm going to bring in my flower and I'm going to add some uh, just some snail adhesive to the back of that center and add in my leaves. Now these leaves are in Mossy Meadow and I stamp them using the Tool Wild Rose stamp set and then I die cut them with the coordinating framelits. And now let's add some ad more adhesive to the back here. And there we have that part of it. Well, I just love that look. My card base is the four and four, <laughs> five and a half by eight and a half whisper, or excuse me, very vanilla thick cardstock. I feel like the card base should have that that thickness to it. So having that that thicker paper for your card base provides some great stability for your card. I'm going to use the And Grateful greeting from the Tua Wild Rose and I'm just going to ink up the grateful part by using our gorgeous gray stamp pads and just kind of inking up just the grateful part and stamping that on just a little bit of scrap of Mary Merlot and trimming that up just a little bit and then making my pennant end here. There's that. 
Notice that I added just a gorgeous little accent with the metallic pearls on here. And I think we should add them again because I think it's a great finishing touch. So easy to add with the take a pick tool. This is a, just a cello bag that I store my pearls and stuff in. It's easy for me to see what I have and it keeps them all together. And there's our finished card. It is simply gorgeous. Who wouldn't love to receive this as a thank you card? Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you appreciate these tips that I provided for you. I love to inspire you. You can order these products in my online store at stampinbj.com and I certainly appreciate your business. And as always, remember to create and feel great.